Another thing we'd like to touch on here at Utah Senior Planning is Medicaid misconceptions. Really common things that we hear all day every day from clients, employees at the nursing home, business office managers, social workers. You just hear certain things and, and I know lots of people out in the community hear different things from you know Betty Sue at the hair salon or Joe the mailman. There's lots of misconceptions stuff people have read online or heard from a relative in another state that doesn't always translate to Utah. So just want to touch on some of the Medicaid misconceptions and one of the biggest that we hear is when it comes to a spousal situation and one of the um, spouses is in the care center. You don't have to spend all your money before the spouse in care is able to qualify for benefits. That's it's the biggest misconception. There's laws and rules in place to help the spouse at home actually retain enough assets for themselves not to become impoverished and also retain a minimum amount of income. So I had a phone call the other day with a lady and she said, I'm just calling to, to check in with you. The assisted living said I should give you a call and she was already eligible for Medicaid. Um, I went a little bit further and talked to her and found out that she wasn't getting an additional $900 a month that she should have been getting because of mortgage and utilities and, and costs like this. So there, there is a cost that comes when you don't seek out professional help to help get these benefits for you. So we would encourage you, don't listen to the misconceptions. Don't assume what you're told is the final answer until you've talked with us. Uh, call us, make an appointment. We'd be happy to meet with you in your home you know, uh, do a consultation over the phone, whatever needs to be, but uh, that's one of the biggest misconceptions that you have to spend all your money and that the spouse at home is going to become totally impoverished. That's just not accurate. Another misconception is that you're going to lose your house. Um, again, there's lots of rules in place if there's a spouse still living in the home, uh, if that spouse at home survives the spouse in the nursing home, the house it will remain so those, those are some of the, the biggest ones. And again, call us today. We'd be happy to sit down and discuss some of these misconceptions that you may have heard and, and give you the straight scoop since all we do every day is Medicaid and helping clients.